think healthcare professionals, you know, especially nurses, since I know your business focuses on nurses, find it so challenging to do self care? Yeah, well, Cassandra, I've actually asked um, my population, for example, I'll ask people on Facebook or I ask nurses I work around with in the hospital. And the one thing I hear the most, um, the one word that comes up with the most response rate is time. Mm -hmm. um, finding the time to do self-care. And like you just mentioned, we're, we're in such a caring profession. We have a caring nature about our personality. We're constantly taking care of others. So how, when do you find the time then to take care of yourself if you're busy always giving? Um, that's one of that's actually the biggest challenge is the time, and then other challenges I, I have come across and learned from people and just from my own work is um, again with that giving nature, always being giving of ourselves. We find it sometimes difficult to receive, and having a balance between giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and, and the final piece I think is a lot of people. Uh, it's hard because it's not, it's just that people put it off, you know, thinking, well, I'll get to that when I retire or I'll get to that when my kids are out of the house or I'll get to that when, when, when. So putting off self-care and thinking that, you know, we're invincible and, and we don't have to do it right now is another challenge. We have to, like the meditation and the breath work we did at the beginning, we have to come back to the present because we're here now and, and we need to be healthy now, you know. You won't enjoy retirement if if you're not doing self care in the current moment. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My son unfortunately make it to uh to retirement or be very ill, you know, if you don't incorporate self care. Uh and and what have you found? You know, you talked about your own personal story of having, you know, compassion fatigue and burnout, even though you enjoyed the job and you enjoyed being a nurse, you got burnout. And we hear about this many times from nurses about burnout. So what also happens to nurses or health care, you know, health uh, care professionals, or even people could be listening, they could be wellness professionals, you know. Um, mm -hmm. What can happen to them if they're not incorporating self-care? Oh, a lot of things. Um, you know, I, I'll speak from experience, but I'll also speak from conversations with friends and colleagues. So, of course, um, call-outs and absenteeism occurs. Um, morale on the unit would become lower. Uh, people themselves start to feel irritable and moody. As I mentioned, I was throwing kind of temper tantrums at my house. <laughs> um, you could become physically ill. You know, when I wasn't taking care of myself, I developed digestive issues. I had um, migraine headaches, like stress headaches almost daily. I was dehydrated. People ultimately will decide to leave jobs. And then I think a thing that's really touched me a lot and why I want to work so much or why, you know, I work so much with nurses is I believe that if we're not taking care of ourselves, it sort of affects our credibility because um, we're, we're role models for patients. We, we, are, we are the face of health care. We are the front line. Patients see nurses every day, day in and day out, all day, 24 hours a day. And if the nurses are explaining to patients about how to eat healthy or how to quit smoking or how to whatever, and then we're not walking our own talk, I, I really believe it defaces the credibility of the profession. So um, there's a lot that happens <laughs> that's negative if we don't take care of ourselves. In fact, I was speaking with a nurse I know recently who had a who had to completely get hospitalized and um, take time off because they were working so hard. They made themselves so sick. So, I mean, it just it just affects the productivity of us as a as a as a profession as a job. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and I'm going to make some comments on that. And if if you're on the line and it, you know you want to make a comment, you can um, put in the chat box, or if you're listening, you can press uh, one 
you can start one to, to talk if you have a comment about what we're talking about. And I can bring you on the air. And I had also posted on Facebook, so I'm going to read those comments. But yes, you know, I think you're so right that we are role models. You know, and we are the face of healthcare. I think that is so um, essential for us to recognize. And many times we don't. But would you find, I know for me, it goes back to nursing school. Nursing school, we did not learn to take care of ourselves. It almost got us into that mode of, you know, you, you just kind of take care of other people. I mean, you think about um, in nursing school, but, but we would stay up. We'd have to do treatment plans. We were up early for clinicals. As compared to when I was, like, doing my psychology degree, oh, that was just kind of much more relaxed, you know, mm -hmm. than... Um, than the nursing, nursing, I felt stress, and there, I never learned anything to to manage that stress. You know, it was just like you're either going to do it or you're not, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's so find? true. I, I'm agree I'm remembering my experiences, and you're exactly right on. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we have a, we have a caller, and I am going to put them on their the caller ending in four one four four. Hello, caller. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. I am loving the show. I'm loving the tips. This is Delena Keller Watkins, and I am a nurse by profession, and I can relate to everything that both you, Cassandra, and Liz are sharing uh, with the listeners today. It's a wonderful and much needed show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And actually, I know you posted on Facebook, so if you want to share with us, you know, um, my question on Facebook was, is, are you a nurse, blah, blah. If so, do you find it challenging to care for yourself or maintain a sense of harmony? And what self-care techniques have you incorporated in your life to maintain peace and balance? So if you want to share that with us, that would be wonderful. Absolutely. Well, I used to have um, an issue with, um, and I think like Liz, you kind of get this aha awakening moment where you sort of feel like a fraud that you're telling your patients that you need to do this and, you know, this will help to promote, you know, better positive outcomes and, you know, those type of um, things when you're caring for your patient. But at the same time, you're not necessarily in, employing those same strategies into your own life at all times. So I find now I'm at a different place and I actually try to make certain that I'm walking the talk so that I can relate and be sort of um, a walking billboard or a walking product of what it means to do these uh, particular strategies. For me now, what I find easier to do and implement in self-care is just sort of start uh, within. In the morning, I um, meditate, and then in the evening, I reflect on my day. And then kind of in between, I try to find moments to be in the moment so that I can um, take in whatever may be occurring around me, regardless of where I am. So I find that that's better because I think as a nurse, when I worked directly with patients, we were always trying to make certain that all needs were met, that everything was signed off, and all blocks were filled in, that we really didn't take time to sort of be in the moment. And really, that whole self-care and self-neglect was probably at the top of my list. You know, at that time, there were times I worked a 12-hour shift and never went to the restroom. So, I mean, you know, when I think back to doing those type of things early on in my nursing career, it was bad, and I never really looked at it that way. I instead looked at what it was I was doing instead of realizing um, what I was doing to myself. Mm, yes, yes, uh, can relate to that. Thank you so much, Delena. And like I said earlier, Delena has the total uh, health talk at 11 a.m., so you can join in to hear her show, and that's at 11 a.m. She is part of the Women in the Morning and a soul nurse. So Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Liz, so I'm sure you could relate to what Delena was saying. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, the story with the 12-hour shift and not using the restroom, I have many of those and, and many where I didn't eat the whole shift, and one time I almost passed out in the nurses and the doctor had to take care of me. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely relate to that. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's, it's really a shame that it's like that um, because I think it's two parts. I think like what you're saying, 
Liz, it is our self-responsibility. And like you and Delena had mentioned, is we do have these aha moments where it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> what am I telling the patient uh, or the client? And then I'm not doing it. And like you said, you feel kind of like, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not really being true to myself because how do I expect a patient to do this if I'm not doing it? So I think there's that aha moment and that self-responsibility. But then it comes back to the system. Like we're saying, nursing school, I mean, I've been a clinical instructor uh, for some years, no longer do that. But the nursing students would be so stressed out, you know, and I would actually tell them, try to incorporate meditation, deep breathing with them. I really, really um, try to emphasize the importance of self-care. But they're in school and they're trying to, you know, get A's and, 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 and you know, they're, they're, that, that type A personality. And it, it's difficult because I think the systems, and then in the hospital, in the hospital, you kind of are rewarded for being that martyr. You know, for, for being the person who can go 12 hours and not urinate or eat. <laughs> In yeah. fact, you're seen as kind of a slacker if you're taking a half an hour break. <laughs> Would you say that? Would you say that you found that um, in different systems? 